welcome back to Ben's Gluten Free Kitchen. So today I'm going to try something that I don't usually make and it's biscuits. And that's because the supermarket shelves are stocked with biscuits and they're such a great range. Why go to all the hassle? We went out for coffee and Jim had a gluten free peanut butter cookie. So I thought I'd give those a go as they'll be nice as a little treat every now and again. And it... So just quickly going through the ingredients. I've got 100 grams of caster sugar and I've also got 100 grams of golden sugar. Now a lot of the recipes on the internet have said the golden sugar provides a nice treacly flavour to the recipe and that really complements the peanut butter. I've also got about 150 grams of butter which I've melted. I've got one egg and around about 200, 230 grams of peanut butter and about 150, 170 grams of gluten free plain flour. And into that I'm just going to put a bit of baking powder and probably around about half a teaspoon of xanthian gum. So a little bit of xanthian gum is just going to help replicate gluten and give you a stronger biscuit. And finally I'm just going to put one teaspoon of vanilla essence in as well. So quickly going through the method, just going to add my sugar to the melted butter and then just stir that together. That's just going to take a few seconds. I just want to really mix that together. Make sure that butter has been incorporated into all the sugar. Then the next ingredient to add is the egg. I'm just going to make sure that's been beaten in as well. And the next thing to add is my teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then again just make sure that's incorporated. And then the next ingredient is just a beat in the peanut butter. And this is where the mixture is just going to get a little bit stiffer. But it's worth persevering and making sure that butter, sugar and peanut butter mix is fully incorporated. Now regular viewers would be saying, how come I'm not using my usual gadget, the food processor? But because this has got quite a lot of wet ingredients in that peanut butter as well, I'm not confident that it's going to mix properly. So I'm just resorting to hand power today. Now I'm guessing if you've got a hand beater, that would work just as fine as well. The next thing to add, is the flour and I'm just going to add one teaspoon of xanthian gum and half a teaspoon of baking powder and the baking powder is just going to help give a little bit of a lift but not too much not as much as you would with self-raising flour and then just making sure that xanthian gum and baking powder are mixed through the flour And then just add that to the peanut butter, butter and sugar mix. And then just gently mix all that in. And again with the gluten free flour, it does take a little bit longer than you would with normal flour to mix things together. It is worth just carrying on mixing just for probably 30 seconds to a minute longer just to make sure everything's been thoroughly mixed. And then the next part is very important and it's making sure that this has been chilled down again and that's because we've been using the melted butter and we just need to give that chance to stiffen up again and also make sure that the flour and has had time to rest as well. Now if we don't do that, all that's going to happen is the mixture is going to be too loose, too runny. And as we put that onto our baking parchment and into a hot oven, it'll just spread out and give you a very thin biscuit, and probably burn around the edges as well. So we're going to give that about an hour, maybe an hour and a half in the fridge, just to relax. So that's my peanut butter mix, had about an hour relaxing in the fridge. And I've just got myself my ice cream scoop, just to make sure that I get equal portions. And I'm just going to place that on a prepared baking tray. 
So it doesn't matter what size you make these, just so long as they're even because you want them to cook at the same time. Now the way we'd seen these were they were quite large cookies and they just seemed to have been pressed down with a fork, just leaving a nice imprint on the top. And then when the cookies are prepared, just pop them in the oven, 180 degrees, around about 20 and I'll check back on those in about 25 minutes. So there we have the gluten-free peanut butter cookies. Hope you find that easy to follow along. If you do like them, give them a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And I'll catch you next time on Ben's Gluten-Free Kitchen.